it's homemade bicycle power meter update time and this is what I'm calling version 3.1 used to be version 2 which I always believed had issues with drifting caused by the strain gauges turns out it was actually the amplifier so I'm calling this version 3 because I started using the HX711 as an ADC instead of the amplifier and the Arduino's own ADC and this one is version 3.1 because I'm using a modified version of the uh, HX711 board and the next thing I need to do with this project is to weatherproof this area because as you can see this is just tape stuck over it so that just keeps out the big splashes of water but otherwise it doesn't make it usable in the rain but before I do that I want to fit a custom made version of the HX711 board and Next I will show you, take this tape off and I'll show you how I've modified this board and what's different about it. So a couple of things I've done, one of them is to lower the excitation voltage. So I've just put a resistor across here and that's dropped it down to 2.2 volts in the case of this board. That's just the resistor that I had available. And the reason for that is to get this ready for use with a 3.3 volt microcontroller. At the moment, this is being fed 5 volts, and the Arduino has a two cell lithium pack to supply it, but I want to get that down to a single cell, so obviously there'll be a lower voltage available. And secondly, is to clock the ADC with a 16 megahertz crystal off an old Arduino. And that's giving me 116 samples per second instead of the uh, 86 which you get with these boards if you just use the onboard oscillator. So this obviously is a bit of a mess and so I thought well it's time to get some custom made boards made up. And so I got some and here they are. So this is what I shall be replacing that with and this has by default an excitation voltage of 2.7 volts and also there's a space for the crystal to be soldered directly to the board. Next let's take a look at some data that I've been recording with this power meter here. I've been carefully recording every ride and I shall show you the results compared to a proper like commercial power meter. In my case they are Garmin vector pedals. As you'll see I've recorded quite a bit of data with version 3. This is the unmodified HX711 and this is with it modified. So this is the 116 hertz version and the lower excitation voltage. Let's have a look at the latest ride which is here. So this is the data the automatic shifter records. And here is where I compare it to the Garmin pedals. So we've got the Garmin pedals in this column and my homemade version there. And as you can see, it's pretty good. It is consistently a little bit lower, my power meter, the power reading. Um, and it's been like that even though I calibrated it um, with a weight. Um, and I think some of it obviously is to do with the fact it's a single sided power meter and my left right balance is such that my right leg is slightly weaker than my left so I would expect my power meter to under read by around about 5 watts. Let's have a look at the long term power average which is the most interesting graph on here and here we have in red the calibration value and in blue is the power error and mostly it follows along apart from this area here and this dip here i'm not quite sure what happened at those points maybe it wasn't zeroed correctly for those rides or temperature or something um but yeah um for this section here it performed very well indeed it was easily within plus or minus five watts and then i recalibrated it uh, to try and bring it up to averaging around about minus 5 watts and yeah sometimes it goes outside of plus or minus 5 watts so you might get plus or minus 10 watts 
but yeah, this gives you a rough idea of what you could expect for this kind of homemade parameter. Uh, I hope you found it interesting. Thank you for watching.